So the problem we face today is a problem of the Cournot duopoly, and this is question 13 from practice midterm 1. So our stated problem is that two identical firms compete as a Cournot duopoly. The inverse market demand they face is P equals 80 minus 4Q. The cost function for each firm is CQ equals 8Q. So our question is, what is the total industry output Q in equilibrium? Now step one is to set up the givens. We know the marginal cost is equal to the derivative of the cost function, also known as the derivative of 8Q, which is 8. Therefore, the marginal cost is 8, or C equals 8. Our profit function, pi equals P minus C times Q. Now this will always be our profit function for a Cournot duopoly question. Our demand function is P equals 80 minus 4Q. And our quantity function is Q equals Q1 plus Q2. This will always be our quantity function when there are two firms. Now step two is to create our profit function. So first we substitute Q into our demand function. P equals 80 minus 4Q1 minus 4Q2 is what we get after we substitute Q into our demand function. Now next we substitute our new P and C into our profit function. This profit function can be used to find the mutual best response of both firms, which is exactly what we're looking for. And when you simplify that equation at the bottom of the slide, you get pi equals 72q1 minus 4q1 squared minus 4q times 2q1. So step three are our best responses. So you take the derivative of the profit function found in step two with respect to Q1. Now this will allow us to find firm one's best response. So pi prime equals 72Q1 minus 4Q1 squared minus 4Q, 2Q1, and, and that is the prime. Now zero equals 72 minus 8Q1 minus 4Q2. So when we simplify that, uh, we get 4Q1 equals 36 minus 2Q2. Now we have 2Q1 equals 18 minus Q2. So again, to simplify that, we get Q1 equals 18 minus Q2 over two. Now here's the key part. The question states that both firms are identical. Therefore, they have the same quantity, or Q1 equals Q2. So Q1 equals Q2, which equals 18 minus Q2 over 2. Now, Given that we have two variables for one equation, we need to substitute Q1 for Q2, and we solve the equation for just Q1. Now this begins Q1 equals 18 in brackets minus 18 minus Q1 divided by 2, and then divide that by 2. Then you have Q1 equals 18 over 2 minus 18 minus Q1 over 4. So we'll multiply both sides by 4. And in the end we get, once simplified, Q1 equals 6. Now the best response, um, this is a visualization of what we just did. As we can see here, the reaction functions of both firms intersect at 6, giving us a position neither firm is willing to deviate from. In other words, at quantity 6, we reach equilibrium. Now, the uh, Step 4 is to find Q. As previously stated, since both firms are identical, Q1 equals Q2, so Q2 also is equal to 6. Therefore, the total industry output Q in equilibrium is 12. And that is the answer to your question.